السلام عليكم uh, I am Dr. Iman Abbas and uh, this is the first lecture in histology uh, it will be about the first chapter which is cytology okay uh, before starting to have uh, this chapter I will give you a small introduction about, about histology microscopes used in it uh, and stains used in it first what histology histology uh, histo in Latin means tissue and ology means a science so it is the science which study microscopical structure of the normal body components and correlate the structure with their function our body is formed of a small unit which is cells cells gathered uh, to form tissues and then these tissues are collected to form organs and organs form the systems of our body for example we have organ like the heart but heart with blood vessels and other structures will form the cardiovascular system we have organ like stomach okay and the stomach with the other organs of the digestive system will form the gastrointestinal tract or the digestive system okay so today we will study the first chapter which is cytology because cell is the smallest structural and functional unit of living tissue right Cell normally is formed of a nucleus and this nucleus is surrounded by cytoplasm. This cell is the smallest unit, so we cannot see it by our eyes. We need to see it by something which can magnify it, which is microscope. In histology, uh, are different types, but mainly we have one which uses light as a source of illumination and another one which uses electron. This one is known as light microscope and this abbreviation LM is used in your course, okay? And uh, this one can give a magnification up to 1500. The tissue used in this microscope are usually stained. So the picture seen by this microscope is usually colored, okay? While the other one, which is the electron microscope, it is not present in every lab, it is present in certain universities okay uh, like Cairo University okay. and uh, this one is a very large one it uses electron for magnification it magnifies the uh, tissue or cells up to 10 uh, hundred thousand okay and it gave a picture black and white black and white like old movies by only these two data we can say this one is photographed or examined by light microscope it is colored right and it gives low magnification while this photo is seen uh, by electron microscope because it appears black and white okay why pictures or photos seen by light microscope are colored Yes, I have told you that it is stained by uh, sin, uh, especially by certain stains. What are the stains used in histology? We have a routine stain, which is known as hematoxin and eucine. It is a mixture of hematoxin and eucine, and it is written as this abbreviation H and E. This is a routinely used stain in our labs, and when we use it, we don't mention its name because it is a routine one. If we used another one differ from this, we term it special stains and we have to mention it. For example, silver stain is some is another stain different from H and E, and in this in this case we have to mention the name of it uh, close to the foot. Okay. What about H and E or hematoxin and eucine? Yes, it is a mixture of hematoxin, which is a dye chemical structure which is basic blue in color being basic it will stain the opposite structure which are acidic structure inside the tissue the tissue which like basic stain is known as basophilic structure and phallic means like so the structures which are stained by hematoxin are basophilic structure in our cells we have nucleus and cytoplasm and if you remember nuclei are filled with Yes, DNA and RNA, which are the oxynucleic acid and ribonucleic acid. Being acid, it will be stained with the opposite chemical, which is hematoxylin, 
So nuclei are basophilic structure. Nuclei appear under microscope as blue, blue structure. Okay, so these blue structures are nuclei. What about the other component of this state, which is eosin? Eosin like is this one. It is a chemical structure which is acidic. It is red in color. Being acidic, it will stain basic structure in the cell, like cytoplasm of most of cells. And these structures will known be as acidophilic. They like the acidic stain. Any photo will appear as a mixture like that of acidic structure, acidophilic structure, and basophilic structure. Because inside the cell we have nuclei, which must be basophilic, and we have other components that may appear acidophilic. Yes, now we will return to cytology and start to have the lecture of today, which is cytology. Cell is the smallest structural and functional unit of living tissues. It is formed of nucleus surrounded by cytoplasm. This cytoplasm contains, contains important structures known as organelles and stored structures known as inclusions. And all are suspended in a fluid-like substance or a solution rich in carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and the enzymes like soap and known as matrix. Okay. What is the difference between organelles and these inclusions? Organelles, for example, in our body, the heart is an organ. Uh, inside the cell, we term it organelle because it is the smallest structure, smallest structure than that in our body. Okay. So we usually use else to mention that this structure is small so the heart in our body is essential is living structure is permanent organelles in the cell are like that for example mitochondria is the organelle responsible for respiration of the cell it is essential While inclusions is something stored inside the cell like fat. Fat in our body we may lose weight and lose fat. So fat are not essential, not a living structure, not a permanent. Okay. Uh, organelles again are divided into membranes and non-membranes. Membranes means surrounded by a coat like structure known as membrane. And we will study this element in details. Membranes are cell membrane, mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, which are two types, Wilshi apparatus, and the lysosomes. While non membranes are ribosomes and cytoskeleton. Cytoskeleton it is like the skeleton of the cell, some filaments and tubules responsible for the shape of the cell and the transport across the cell. While ribosome, if you remember, it is an RRNA, RRNA, which is the ribosomal RNA, it is the site of protein senses, okay? Starting by membranous organelle, cell in our body like a factory that want to produce a product, okay? This factory is surrounded by a yes an envelope-like structure, a wall, which is the cell membrane. And it has a battery, it has a machine inside it. These machines need energy or battery. This battery uh, that supply energy is the mitochondria. Machines inside the cell or inside, inside this factory either produce protein, and in this case, this machine is known as rough endoplasmic reticulum, okay? Or it may use fat or carbohydrate to produce the product, and in this case, it is known as smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So, endoplasmic reticulum are the machines inside the cell. Mitochondria is a source of energy. Cell membrane is the wall around the or the fence around the cell. Then, the product produced needed to be concentrated. Uh, adjust the taste of it, the structure, uh, put it in a good uh, uh, cover. The, this is the function of the Golgi apparatus. In any cell in our body, we have a defensive system that 
eliminate old structures that eliminate uh, microbes or fog or uh, something which attacks us this is the lysosomes it not only do that but it also digest the nutrients that enter the body to the small structures that can be used by the cell in every organelle we will discuss it by the following uh, scheme definition of it by light microscope by electron microscope it's a function and sometimes we'll uh, comment on its site and the numbers <laughs> cell membrane by definition is a very thin membrane about 8 to 10 nanometer in thickness it surrounds the cell like an envelope by light microscope, again, if you remember, light microscope is the one that magnifies photo for a little extent. This light microscope is difficult to see cell membrane because it is only 8 to 10 nanometer. But can, we can use a special stain like PAS, which is an abbreviation for a special stain accepted to say by this way, or uh, if you like, it is the abbreviation of periodic acid shift. But PAS is accepted. And silver stain, which is uh, we use the abbreviation AG for it. They are special stain. They will stain the outlet, the outline of the cell by a different color, and this color will be known as the cell membrane, right? It appears like three lines: dark one, then light one, then dark one. Dark in EM is known as dense. And the light one is known as lucent. So it is described as two electron dense, okay, and an electrolucent in between. So again, if we want to describe e cell membrane by EM, we'll describe it as tri lamellar means tri means three. Lamelli means a layer, so it is trilamellar, it is formed of three layers. And this trilamellar appearance is described as a unit membrane. What is the function of cell membrane? Number one is transport. Again, it's like a wall around the cell. It allows what enter and what exit. Transport may be simple transport, known as diffusion. And this means something pass up with concentration gradient from higher concentration to lower concentration. It is a passive process, okay? And it means, this means it doesn't need energy. Sometimes it needs the uh, help of certain proteins inside the cell membrane. And in this case, it is known as facilitated transport, uh, need the help of carrier. And we will have this uh, in detail in physiology. Or active transport, this means it is a transport against the concentration gradient, and in this case we have to use energy, which is ATP. The third type is the bulk transport, this means the transport of large molecules, which either leaves the cell, and in this case it is known as exocytosis, or enters the cell, and in this case it is known as endocytosis. Everything that will enter the cell is a solid, this is known as phagocytosis, and if it is a fluid, the process is known as pneumocytosis. If this cell forms certain protein or hormone, for example, and these particles need to leave the cell to the outside, it will be surrounded by a membrane like that, when uh, it can enclose. Uh, association or very close to the cell membrane, then this membrane will fuse with the cell membrane itself and the contents are released to the outside by a process known as exocytosis. Uh, the second organelle is the mitochondria. It is the second membranous organelle. As we described it previously, it is the source of energy. So by definition, it is a membranous organelle responsible for cell respiration and energy production. It is considered the powerhouse of the cell. It will use food inside the cell to oxidize it by the help of respiratory enzyme and by some chemicals which are, uh, or some ions which are act as catalyst for this enzyme. 
to convert this food into CO2, water, and energy. Then this energy will be stored as ATP to be used inside the different activity of the cell. Number of mitochondria is related to the activity of the cell. Highly active cells like liver and muscle have high number of it. By in the end, it is very small, but it can be stained by special stains to appear as small granules inside the cell. For example, iron hematoxin it will appear dark blue, and Janus green it will appear green. By EM, we can see details. It is round or oval, structure like that, having two membrane. The outer one is smooth, while the inner one is folded to form a crest In between, we have the intermembranous space. Inside the inner membrane, we have the matrix like that of the cell. It contains enzymes that used to produce ATP, which are enzymes of Krebs cycle, and catalysts for these enzymes, which are calcium and magnesium ions, and an important data, which is inside the mitochondria, we have the DNA and RNA, like that of the nucleus. So the, nucleus, the mitochondria can divide, can replicate itself. It is known as self-replication. It is the only organelle that can divide. This is the mitochondria and this is its photo by EM. This is the crystal, okay? And this is the outer membrane. This is the inner membrane. It folds inside to form a crystal. Function of mitochondria, cell respiration and energy production, it is the powerhouse of the cell, it oxidizes fatty acids and glucose to produce ATP. The shared organelle is the endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic inside the endoplasm, inside cytoplasm, a reticulum network like structure. So it is an membranous organelle formed of communicating tubules. And this dilated structure, which are sacs, communicating tubules and the sacs, known as cisterni, to form a reticulum inside the cell, a network inside the cell. If you remember, we have two types. The one which is concerned for protein synthesis, known as ROF, and the one concerned with using of fat and carbohydrate, which is smooth endoplasmic reticulum. This one has a rough surface because it has ribosomes attached to its outer surface. Yes, if you remember, ribosome is the rRNA, it is the site of protein senses. It attached to the outer surface of the endoplasmic reticulum, and in this case, it is known as rough endoplasmic reticulum. To start with, rough endoplasmic reticulum site it is concerned with protein senses by the attached ribosomes. So it is excessive in protein forming cells in our body, for example, if you know the cells that for, form a fiber, known as phytoplast, okay? The cells that form a bone is known as osteoplast, and so on. By light microscope, it will appear basophilic by H and E. Why? Because it has ribosomes in its outer surface. Ribosomes are acidophilic structure. So they will have the basic state and appear basophilic, okay? By EM, it will give more details. It is formed of parallel tubules and the related structure are cisterni, parallel tubules and cisterni that communicate to form a reticulum inside the cytoplasm. They are arranged regular, has a regular arrangement. Their outer surface is studied with this electron dense structures which are ribosome. Its function is related to protein. Number one, senses of protein by the ribosomes attached to its surface. Then this protein will be injected inside its tubule and cisterni. This process is known as segregation or isolation of protein inside its tubules. It can add a small, uh, a certain type of carbohydrate to it, and this process is known as initial glycosylation. And then it will collect it inside a, a vesicle known as transfer vesicle. This process is known as packing. Packing inside a vesicle known as transfer vesicle. This transfer vesicle will carry this protein to the next organelle, which is Golgi apparatus. Okay? The second uh, type of endoplasmic reticulum is the smooth one. It is known as smooth endoplasmic reticulum, and the abbreviation is SER. 
site it is present in fat and the steroid hormone forming cells like liver and the endocrine glands endocrine gland are the gland like uh, suprarenal gland like ovary like testis These are glands that uh, have no duct okay and carry its product which is hormone by to the blood uh, for example, suprarenal gland, testis, ovary produce a hormone rich in fat known as a steroid hormone. These organs are rich, are uh, having a large number of SER because it is the machine that will form this hormone. By LM, cannot be demonstrated because it has no ribosomes, sometimes appear as acidophilia inside the cell. By EM, yes, branching and anastomosing tubule and systemic, but in this time, irregular manner and the no ribosomes to its outer This is an EM of smooth endoplasm. What is the function of SER? SER is its abbreviation of smooth endoplasmic critique. Number one, lipid senses. Steroid hormone senses like cortisone, testosterone, and so on. Calcium ion bond and store inside the muscle. Inside the muscle, it is present to store calcium during uh, relaxation and bump it during contraction okay inside the liver it do an important function which is removal of toxicity of drug or decreasing it and this is known as drug detoxification uh, finally it uh, synthesizes glycogen and store it is done in the liver and inside the muscle it is a site of storage of glycogen uh, please I uh, I want to mention short note if I say any details more than your book you are asked only to study uh, the details and the data inside your book only okay but sometimes i mention some data extra for uh, illustration yes again this is rer and this one is smooth this is diagram of rer and this one is ser The third, we have yes finished cell membrane, mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum. The next one is the Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus is considered the secretory apparatus of the cell. Secretory apparatus. What about this photo? This is the nucleus. This is the one. This tubule and cisterni containing ribosomes is, is RER and this one more ribosome is SER. They form a, the, uh, the product and this product is surrounded by a membrane and now it is known as transport vessel. It carries the product to Golgi uh, apparatus. Golgi will receive it from this side, okay? And then this vesicle will pass from uh, inside these tubules from one to another, okay, to be secreted from the other surface and known, uh, this vesicle is known as secretory vesicle. So again, Golgi receives transport vesicle carrying the product, which is usually protein from RER, and then it uh, releases secretory vesicle carrying the product that will be secreted by the cell. So this vesicle comes close to the cell membrane, fuse with it and uh, release its content by exocytosis. <coughs> so by definition it is a membranous organelle which is considered the secretory apparatus of the cell. It will be well developed in secretory cells. Uh, this photo is uh, the machine, machine producing transport vesicle and it, it enters Golgi apparatus, it will be released as secretory vesicle. By LM, if we use the routine stain which is H and E, it will not appear, except if the cell have deep basophilic cytoplasm and we can translate it what mean by cell having a deep basophilic cytoplasm? It means it has RER in a lot of amount with attached ribosomes inside it. So its cytoplasm is deeply basophilic. Again, this means that this cell is protein forming cells, right? It will form a protein by the attached ribosomes. Okay, in deeply basophilic cells, 
it will appear as unstained area near the nucleus it will known as negative Golgi image an example of these cells is plasma cell plasma cell is the cell in our body responsible for the formation of antibody antibodies that uh, neutralize foreign antigens that enter your body okay there is a special stain known as silver and in this case it will appear as brown fibrils and the green by em it appears as 3 to 10 flat cardiac secure with narrow lumen expanded ends they are interconnected with each other they have a two phase the phase that receives transfer of skin is known as immature or cess phase or convex phase and the one which will release the secretory vesicle is known as concave its shape is concave or transphase or mature phase this is an EM of Golgi apparatus these are the saccules okay and this is the PV and this is the SV the function of Golgi apparatus is it is considered the secretory apparatus of the cell it adds certain carbohydrate or sulfate to the product enter it so it is responsible for chemical modification concentration and backing of protein release it as secretory vesicle sometimes the protein release will not leave the cell to the outside it will remain inside and in this case the content of this vesicle will be enzymes hydrolytic enzymes and this is the organelle which we will, we will have just after minutes uh, which is the lysosome okay so Golgi apparatus either form secretory vesicle release to the outside of the cell or form lysosome which is an organelle retained inside the cell during exocytosis of any product uh, I have mentioned that this vesicle come in close side to the cell membrane fuse with it release its content by exocytosis and the membrane surrounding it will fuse with the cell membrane of the cell so it is responsible for cell membrane maintenance and renewal.